Hello, hello, and welcome once again. Right, let's try this again. Okay, I'm really, really sorry. Let's have a look. Luna, there we go, right. So, this looks promising. Luna and the Lane, Dapper and Suave. I think we might have done this. <laughs> um, sorry about the little glitch there, and welcome back to everyone. Hello. Um, so there we go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm just going to end this and start again, because I don't know what's going on. It's very I'm going to... Okay. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you in a minute. I've got a couple of things going at the same time here. I've got your old one and your new one. There we go. Hello. Right, hello. <laughs> hello. Well, I'm going to have to do you on my phone because it's not working on my computer. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Right, we're all here. So, we are. Yeah. So, um, first, I just want to say, um, obviously, welcome to our first 10 at 10 special. And that's with Sally. Um, I really wanted to look at businesses who share a passion for being creative and thinking outside the box. Um, we've all had our challenges in the last year and I wanted to find out stories of how we've overcome these and what better way than to chat to Sally as a stylist, planner, event coordinator and more someone who we both admire. Um, so Rob will be chatting to her as Dapper and Swap. Hello, uh, that's Rob here about her businesses, Luna and Elaine, and I'll be chatting as curated by Dapper and Suave. So, um, over to you, Rob. Hello. As, as me to 80, not as Dapper and Suave, sorry. <laughs> Good morning, Sally. It's lovely Good to see morning. You. It's lovely to see you wearing my favourite bow tie. I put it on specially for Good you. Good boy. <laughs> Which leads me on to remind everybody how we met. Well, um, I've been thinking about this quite a lot recently, actually, because we go back quite a way now. Um, yeah. Now, I think it was when we did the shoot in Brighton with Jack and Jazz. And that's when I first met that gold bow tie. Um, and uh, I'd sort of, I'd arranged a shoot, which was, was going to be sort of really bright and bold. And I, I got in touch with you guys because I saw all your amazing things that you do, all the handmade things that you do. And it's always got this sort of really vibrant bash of colour, which is really great. So we got on board and we just immediately clicked, didn't we? We had such a laugh that day. It was really, really good. And we realised that we we sort of share, we have these shared goals and vision for things. And we got chatting about it. And, and it just became clear that all of us have this, this vision of making sure that the boys are really represented just as much as the girls. Because, you know, when you do a shoot or anything, with a bride and groom, for example, um, or any couple, the the focus is always on the girl. And it's, why is that? I just don't understand why that is. So, yeah. you know, long story short, we got chatting about it and we realized that that was sort of our shared ethos. We wanted to promote how much choice boys have just mm. as much as the girls. So yeah. that's a be our beautiful story. <laughs> yeah, and it's been a very, very happy one. So we've yeah. done quite a few photo shoots today. I mm. would be brave and tilt my screen up, but I've worked out that there are at least four photo shoots um, above my head in our postcards from all mm -hmm. Do you have a favourite? And oh, God. <laughs> it's a it's really hard because I just love all of them because they're so different. I mean, we did such an amazing one recently at Summerlee, which was just, it was, which was a bit different for us, actually, wasn't it? Because yeah. um, it was sort of really, everything we do is very contemporary, I think, and we sort of push the boundaries a little bit. But this one was sort of had muted colours and it was warm and, and just quite contemporary in that way. And we hadn't really sort of worked with just um, like a monochrome sort of palette, had we before? Everything was really bright. So that was really, really lovely. Yeah. But I think in terms of, of what we've done together, I think my favourite probably was when we worked with the boys doing the woodland elopement because yeah. it just sort of culminated everything that, that we feel we should be doing in terms of, you know, pushing boys' styling and everything. And it yeah. was great to work with the lads because... They love a bit of dress up anyway, and uh, and they were just so up for experimenting with different things. And we ended up putting kimonos and things on them, didn't we? In the end, yeah. and and you know, it, it was ended up being like some kind of Shakespearean <laughs> festival. It was brilliant. So I think you know that probably has a special place in my heart because of you know, I mean, the photos look amazing from that, and they I are, just think that we created some brilliant things. They are absolutely stunning. Mm. Aren't they? 
you again coming around our house with Jasmine and we, we literally raided our dressing up cupboards. Yeah. What we really enjoyed out of that was us starting to embrace some of our styling skills, not just on us, but actually yeah. making things onto other people. And I can't remember, but somebody's got a shot of me with like a clothes rail over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And it was just such a really building everything together. Yeah. That, that, yeah I think that's always going to be something really, really unique. That I we think have. so. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your journey. You talked to us about it. Oh. Share with the group, how did you get from where you were to here and where was that? Well, my background is in um, theatre and drama uh, and generally the arts. And, and that's really sort of what spurs me on. Um, so I did that for 20 years. I was a drama teacher and director and producer. And I guess that's really, I'm, I'm using all the skills really from that in terms of, you know, the vision that I have for things and being able to sort of pick elements and smush things together and, you know, think a bit outside the box. Um, and then 2013, hubby and I got married and um, we were able to sort of create and design our own wedding. And that's always been at the back of my head of, you know, maybe I'd really like to do this. Dabbled a little bit with it over the years. And then 2018, I decided, right, that's it. I'm going to leave teaching and have a little bit more of a, a, a work-life balance and um, use the skills that I'd, I'd been using so far. And I decided to go into planning and styling and coordination. And I've loved it ever since. It's been really great because it means that I can, you know, work with like-minded people. Nice. It's constantly evolving, constantly changing. And what a better thing to do than to be part of, you know, people's happy memories. It's great. Yeah. yeah. And for them as well. Hmm. So what boosts your creativity? Uh, it comes from the arts. I mean, I don't think that will ever disappear. So, I mean, anything arty, anything visual. I'm such a visual person. I always sort of think I'm a bit of a magpie. I'm always picking from things and, like I said, smushing things together. So, um, you know, I like interior design. I like fashion. I like trends, but I don't follow trends. I, I like to look at them and think what's interesting about that. Um, I always say to my couples, actually, um, look at things that you like there might be trends that you like but don't just follow them because you know 10 years time you're going to be looking at your wedding photos and think well that looks just like yeah. you know johnny's wedding or whatever and you know yeah. where's our personality so it's a case of sort of finding things that we're inspired by and you know doing something personal with it yeah definitely mm. uh, your pinterest boards are legendary and <laughs> <laughs> And also the things you do with colour palettes and all yeah. that. I love, I was looking through um, various posts that you've done on social media, mm. this kind of love-hate that you have with trends. But I think it's the same as us. Yeah. Do way. I mean, who'd put a gold bow tie with a pale denim shirt and a peacock feather? But hey, that's us. And, and why not? That's, that's the important thing. And why There's no rule. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So the question was going to be why you enjoy working with us, but I think people are getting the gist. We're kind of on the same wavelength. So yeah. I would tweak the question and say the family of suppliers that you're talking mm. about, and we're all so passionate to get with. Oh. How, how did you meet some of those? How do you find working with them? Oh, I just love it. I love having this sort of, well, I was going to say a close knit of sort of supplier friends. I mean, you just keep crossing over all the time, don't you? Whenever you yeah. work on something, you always go, oh, it's so-and-so, which yeah. is really lovely. But you do sort of start to create like a, a little family of people mm -hmm. that are like-minded, that have the shared, shared goals and experiences and things as you. But part of what I love about this industry is meeting the new people. I mean, everybody's great. Everybody's fantastic because they're yeah. just so friendly. Um, and, you know, we're all in it because we want to have, you know, good experiences with people. Uh -huh. um, and, and, you know, we all chat to each other and, <laughs> you know, it's, it's great. It's lovely. So, yeah, I, I meet people on shoots. I meet people, you know, working with clients. Um, loads of people just nip into the studio now and say hi. So it's great. That's mm. bad. Mm. Which would be a nice segue because I'm um, conscious we have the other side. You see of what it. I did there? Yeah, that's a nice segue. Mm. So I'm going to hand over to Jason. It's been so lovely to uh, chat to yeah. you from Stefan's website. I will hand you over to Jason, who's above me on this screen. I don't know where you are on yours. Yeah. I'm below him. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. That was weird being quiet for all that time. But um, <laughs> I'm quiet, so I did butt in. And I just 
so sort of with you, with talking to you there, Sally, as well, is um, with your shoots and your you have a goal and you have mm. this what you want mm. and you take all these people along on the ride and we're all there and we get this <laughs> amazing product at the end of it and we're all there to to nudge people to get in there and get get yourself on the show you know the shoe yeah. and that so at the end of it you know that there's a lot of hard work that goes into it but also you know it's great and we all know at the moment we've got a shoe on hold at the moment which was exactly. supposed to be in november uh-huh. can't wait for it to happen mm. um we're in contact with the venue at the moment so you know watch this space for the most i think kind of the most amazing photo shoot that we've done i personally think anyway on to um <laughs> just some questions from curated and it was, um, I just want to, obviously, when did you decide to set up a second business and why? Well, it, it's, <laughs> been a, it's been a bit of a funny one. We decided to buy a space um, just literally the beginning of lockdown, just before the yeah. lockdown happened. Because we wanted to have a, a space where Hubby and I could, could work on our separate businesses, which has yeah. been great. And that's what we can do. And then obviously lockdown hit. And we were all scrabbling around thinking, oh, God, what are we going to do? You know, the panic set in for all of us. Yeah. Um, and we realised, actually, what a great little community hub we've got here. I mean, we are, we're in Broadwater, which is just, just outside Worthing Town Centre, and it's lovely. Um, and so many people have, you know, walked by whilst we were bashing things down. And we realised that there was such a sort of creative hub here. Yeah. So we've decided to run workshops. We started doing that in the in the little bit of lockdown where it eased and we were able to sort of see oh, people yeah. for about two weeks or something ridiculous. So we started to run some workshops and it's been brilliant. So we've got so many things lined up. So we've got creative workshops. You know, people can come and meet here for community meetings, for business meetings, for breakfast clubs. We can do art clubs, literally anything. We've got people coming to us saying we want to do yoga at the space literally anything oh. um and and that's really important because again from from my background it's about working with the community working with the arts working with like-minded people so i think you know moving forward it's going to be a great little community hub and i'm really excited by that i mean other things that we're doing here we're offering pop-up shops and things like that for our like-minded suppliers um you know hopefully you guys will be able to have a little space here for, you know for however long to you know show off your amazing things that you create so yeah i think it's going to be a really exciting space yeah and um you know, we we've been there as well and it, it mm. definitely has your mark on it that's all <laughs> you came when everything was being bashed yeah, down didn't yeah, we you? came back to see it finish and yeah it's yeah got your it's got your stamp. It's got a stamp, it? yeah. Yeah, it's, and, and the thing is, what's great about it is that you've been able to work with local people from the, mm. the signage to yes. everything. And yeah, yeah, absolutely, it, yeah. It's great that people can come along and have that place that, like you said, a different, you know, that creative hub that we mm. need. There's a lot of that. We do moment. need it, yeah. So you answered my six, seven and eight and all of that, which is great. So <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, oh, she's answered that, tick, tick, tick. Um, so kind of at the moment, um, what are your kind of clients asking for now? As in, you know, mm. what's the wedding up? side? Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, God, a bit of everything really, yeah. I mean, you know there's there's going to be opportunities to have sort of small intimate weddings and celebrations and events you know even things in people's gardens and stuff like that which is great but there's such a need isn't there for people to have these parties these big yeah. celebrations they've been desperate to have so all of those things are going to happen at some point you know we're we're moving forward that hopefully you know by the end of the summer yeah. you know we don't know what it's going to look like at this point but we're hoping you know there's going to be li you know limited restrictions things like that so hopefully the parties will happen yeah but so it's a bit of all sorts at the moment we've yeah. got small intimate things and then you know hopefully we're moving on to the big parties big, yeah cool so mm -hmm. um just sort of there as well i mean what have you kind of been working on this year and what's next for you in 2021 oh, right well we've been <laughs> been really busy through lockdown not only you know creating this space um, but we've we've really enlarged our sort of higher catalogue that we've got now. So, you know, when I'm working with clients doing all the planning and things like that, I quite often have to outsource to, to some brilliant suppliers that I work with. And I'll still obviously be doing that. But they're 
we've now been able to to really enlarge our prop hire catalogue so there's a lot of things that i'll be able to outsource to people and it just makes it easier for my clients to get it all from one place if they can mm. um you know i'd still be still be going to to my favorite supplier friends and and you know getting various bits and bobs that i don't have but you know moving forward that's what we're going to be able to do a lot more which is really fantastic Oh, and you've uh -huh. this week been working on a photo shoot with your... Prom. Oh, well, it's, I say it's a, photo, <laughs> it's a photo shoot, but it's basically, it's, it's taking images of all the stuff that we now have. So Monday was a very busy day. I had hubby and my step boys um, all working in the garden to bring yeah. everything out of storage to photograph it all and everything. And now it's all <laughs> shoved back <laughs> for the next few weeks. But so, yeah, so... The catalogue is going to be updated on the website. So, yeah, it's exciting stuff. Cool. And all of this information, if anyone's watching today as well at the moment, this will all go um, onto our website as well. So you can watch this. And anything with Sally, if you've got, you want to talk to her about any events that you've got planned, um, maybe Meet at 80, both of those, mm. they're on this link as well. So you can go onto our website. Sally's lovely. You can chat to her. If you've got any ideas, your business, thinking, really really thinking outside the box i think that's really important at the moment mm -hmm. as with our curated events we're very lucky to um have five events taking place this year and i've spent a lot of time um talking to new people and uh really some some great business probably over 25 brand new businesses but some really fantastic creative people that's just been you know really great to to work with but like like what you do isn't it you, you mm. get a real buzz of working with mm. these creative people mm. um so really that that's it for me i don't know if uh rob wants to say anything at all i, I think um just to mention we'll obviously put links to all of sally's businesses in what we yep. put up to find this video on our youtube channel as well as on the website we'll put a little bit of a blurb on our blog as well and yeah. i think the overriding message and why we're continuing to do these 10 of 10s is this this sense of optimism that we all still have we are creating mm. people um and some of the work i'm doing at the moment with new students coming into this arena it's kind of like oh my gosh what am i getting into actually it's all going to be okay and we it just, is yeah 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 like the prop hire it's that sustainability of the product mm. that we're and things that we are creating they think like this is now a press piece and sit there to be brought out as needed but none of it this is throwaway it's just bringing memories that are really going to mm. stay however we're approaching it from our businesses so it's just really exciting and lovely to speak to you oh yeah. lovely to speak to you both hopefully yeah. we'll actually be in person next time yeah mm -hmm. And, and as Rob said as well, the, I've just done a special. So, you know, usually it's me talking to the people who are curated, but I just wanted just to have a really, you know, nice chat with some people who have the same goal and visions that we have. So tomorrow it will be with Lisa and Alison from your local little black book, um, which is an amazing book that um, is in Rygate and Dorking. So we'll be having a chat to them, finding out what they've been up to. I'm um, discussing things with them and then there will be a few more specials I've got some other people who do some amazing things to, uh, and as well so you know more of that will follow um, and there'll be some more ten at tens and that will all be with the brand new people so um, just finding out about what they're up to and what events they'll be doing as well and hopefully Sally will come along to one of our events this year won't you? Um, yes please! Fun. Yeah it'd be lovely to see you and you can see all yeah. the wonderful things and the wonderful people that are curated by Gap and Suave so thank you so much we can't wait to see you again so lovely to mm -hmm. see you. Um, yeah and you both. And, um, yeah thank you everyone for joining I say this will go onto our website and uh, um, have a lovely week stay creative stay safe and um, bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.